The Manipur Home Department yesterday made some changes in the protocols of lockdown and curfew. Imphal West Superintendent of Police K. Meghachandra informed that with effect from today, as per the new guidelines, home delivery of essential commodities has been allowed in the state during the lockdown and retail shops dealing only essential commodities will be allowed to open from 6 a.m. till 2 p.m. in Imphal and other areas. Another Manipuri nurse working for Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Hospital in Delhi tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday. With this, six Manipuri nurses in Delhi have tested positive for the virus. In the meantime, showing solidarity to lift up the spirit of COVID-19 warriors, Delhi Manipuri Society extended a monetary aid of Rs 10,000 each to the six patients working at different hospitals in the national capital, reports our correspondent. Meanwhile, a nurse from Manipur working at Max Hospital, Delhi, who was tested positive for COVID-19, was admitted to Lok Nayak Hospital, Delhi, late last night. The patient hailing from Thobal district of Manipur was reportedly barred from getting treatment at Max Hospital by the hospital authority. She is now in her third trimester of pregnancy. Eight people, including a child, have died and over 1,000 have reportedly fallen ill after gas leaked overnight from a chemical plant of a multinational firm in RR Venkatapuram village of Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. According to a media report, more than 200 are in hospitals following the leak of what is believed to be styrene gas from an LG polymers facility located near Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. People found unconscious in lanes, ditches and near houses were taken to hospitals in a rescue effort challenged by the coronavirus lockdown. At least three surrounding villages are being evacuated and house-to-house -house checks are on, says officials. The media report also added the gas leak, which started around 2.30 am, is suspected to have been from large tanks unattended because of the shutdown to fight COVID-19. The death toll due to COVID-19 in India rose to 1,783, while the number of cases climbed to 52,952 today, registering an increase of 89 deaths and 3,561 cases in the last 24 hours, according to media reports. The number of active COVID-19 cases stood at 35,902, while 15,266 people have recovered and one patient has migrated. The total number of cases also include 111 foreign nationals. A group of parents whose children are currently stranded at Baroda in Gujarat due to the ongoing lockdown has appealed to the Manipur government to make arrangements for evacuation of their wards. At a press meet at Takhilambam Lekai Purailakpam Mandap Imphal, R.K. Meghachandra, one of the parents, said that the students in hostels and rented accommodations in Gujarat are facing hardships due to the lack of food and other essential commodities amid the lockdown. Volunteers of New Economic Evolution of the World new, in view of the COVID-19 lockdown handed over financial aid and relief materials to Amuko for distribution to public today. A combined team of Lilong Police Station, backed by volunteers of Alada, under the supervision of Thaubal Superintendent of Police, today arrested two drug peddlers along with 132 grams of heroin at Lilong Haurebi Makalekai Kunjil. Lining and Ina Yokhatpa Apunbar Malim Layam Kangle Park today performed the traditional ritual of Pakhangba Ching Hongba at the organization of his premises at Sagolband in Imphal. The ritual was performed by following social distancing rules. The Chief Minister of Tripura, Biplop Kumar Dev, said that the Tripura government will provide Rs 1,000 as financial assistance to 50,000 families who are under the APL families but financially weak. According to media reports, it will be one-time assistance and the state government will spend Rs 5,000 crore from the Chief Minister's Relief Fund for this purpose.